Hey, it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. Hi, Nick. Welcome back to Ireland. Thanks for having me. You were here pretty recently for another I was film. Here, I think, in August or something for World's End. Yeah, I talked to you then as well. So, I mean, I hear this movie was kind of inspired by your idea, but also by a single drunken email. Is that true? Well, the drunken email was the key. Excuse me. That in. It, it meant I was going to get caught uh, like a famous diamond thief. You know, uh, I think I wanted to get caught. I, for years I'd had this little creeping secret that I wanted to be a dancer, you know. I, I like dancing and I kind of wanted to make a dance movie. Mm. And the, just the notion itself seemed so ridiculous. But I knew that Naira, our producer, would really, really love the idea. And at one point, you know, I had a a few drinks one night and I thought, I'm going to do it, I'm going to send an email. And I did, and I sent it, and then kind of fell into bed and woke up the next day and, and, and there was a reply saying, this is great, why don't you come in? Like, Damn it. So you should send more late night emails or less, I don't know. Yeah, maybe more. <laughs> I've got a couple more that I need to, I've got a couple more furious emails that I need to send, so. Send them at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And what is it then about dancing? You you like dancing yourself? Or? Yeah, I did, and I do. And uh, you know, I think I think I think that a lot of it came from the idea that you don't have to necessarily be chiselled chisel, chiseledly handsome with concrete abs to be attractive. You know, mm. and th there is that kind of media driven fallacy that that is the case. Uh, what I've always discovered is that 99.9% .9 of the population of, of the world are kind of ordinary looking and no matter what you look like, you kind of hate your body, you know, even if you do have, you are covered in muscles. I'm sure people look in the mirror and say, ah, oh, my abs look flabby. Or, you know, I've got, I don't have as much definition in my lats as I'd like. You know, that's a complaint in a way, mm. you know. So, to kind of automatically assume that that then is the norm in terms of what's aesthetically uh, pleasing, I kind of I, I find it slightly bonkers, you know. Mm. I think this came from the fact that passion is very beautiful, you know, and that can be passion for poetry or football or something nerdy or anything, sure. you know, anything at all, gardening, sculpture, steeples. I could go on. Uh, that's very beautiful, and, and where kind of six packs can dull with age, passion doesn't, you know, and that's 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 something that's really attractive. You had all those ideas about this this story. Why didn't you then write it yourself? You just didn't have time. Or? Well, I found that after doing Paul, after writing Paul with Simon, which was a fantastic experience, the only downside to it was that it took ages, and you know, if you're an actor taking two years out mm. to write a film means you're not making any money in that two year period and you're not shooting anything yeah. either you know um, and even though it worked out fine in the end in terms of doing this I didn't want to write it you know I had the idea I wrote a kind of character breakdown and, and a kind of idea of what I think it should do mm. and where we need to get to and then we, we, we found lovely John Brown, who was a fantastic writer who we met and we had lots of meetings with and we liked him a lot and he liked us and, and we said, do you want to want to do it? And he, and he, he wrote, a, like, you know, John didn't write a three hour sitcom, he wrote a film and that's, that's not an easy thing to do, you know, it, and it was, it, he works quickly and and it, it, was no, it was a nice way to do it and I think in terms of what I want to do going forward and that's to produce and act and direct and write bits and pieces mm. you know being able to find people you trust and people you want to work with and say hey I've had this idea what do you think and someone goes off to do that while you're doing this yeah. and you know it, 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 it means you can essentially do four times the amount of work uh, Hopefully as, well. as just sitting <laughs> waiting for someone to phone to say do you want to come and be in this for three months? You know, it's and then you end up being the lead as well. Um, but that involved obviously quite a lot of dancing. When did you decide that you wanted to do all that on your own? Oh, well, from the get-go, you know, the, the whole idea of the film was it was me dancing. It wasn't someone else doing it. You know, I, I think 
I think there's a charm in putting yourself out there. Mm. And I, I was kind of, I said yesterday on the red carpet, it's a shame it's not a BAFTA for effort, because I think I would definitely be nominated, you know. Yeah. If you hear about Daniel Day-Lewis training as a butcher for seven months, you think, oh my God, he's so, what commitment to the craft, <laughs> and it is, but if you were seven months into a dance comedy, it's kind of not as in, impressive in a way, yeah. you know. Then looking at the sequences, they're, they're quite edited, they're quite frenetically edited, yeah. because they have to be. Do you feel bad then that there aren't that many long shots of you performing? No, not at all. I mean, it's, it's what the film requires, you know, <laughs> and I know I did it all, and... Uh, Everyone else who was there knows that, and uh, you know I'm tremendously proud of it. You do also, have. I'm sorry, but also you know a d certain dan dance films. If you want to up the pace in terms of the way it looks, you need to edit it. Oh yeah, of course. Well, you did use a body double for some sequences, like the yeah. action sequences. Yeah, there was stuff, wire work and stuff, and flipping over a car, flipping over the car, and I was see, I was meant to do that, and we actually oh. trained to do that. But the the day before, I did a stunt with Chris O'Dowd. And I pulled all the muscles in my neck, lifted him above my head. And I kind of never wanted to do that car stuff anyway, because being a big lump, I never really trust the flimsy little wires. You know, the wires are about that big. And yeah. I'm like, this is not, it's not going to hold me, right? Well, that, that's basically an action scene. It's basically a fight scene. Yeah. And that's how you constructed the whole movie. You could look at it as an action movie as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that big fight scene in the car park, that was, you know, our brief to ourselves was shoot it like it was the ball identity. Mm. And instead of knives, it was kind of hands and, 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 and hand movements, you know. But that was, that was shot and, and pieced together by Brad Allen, who did all the fight work in World's End, and you know, he's, he's one of Jackie Chan's guys. But the film, at the end of the day, kind of has a very nice, nice meaning comedy and a nice message to it. Yeah. Is that something that you like to put into your films when you can? Well, I mean, maybe not in the other ones. I mean, mm. but they kind of, I mean, they're different things. They're, they're a lot different to this, obviously, but yeah, I might argue that all those films are, have happy endings. I, I think, uh, and, but this is, it's a, it's a different animal, it's a, it's a romantic comedy with dancing and that's what we wanted to make I think, and, and I think if people can leave the cinema, I remember watching Rocky 2 when I was a kid with my brother, and coming out of the cinema and shadow boxing, you know, and it, I, it, it bugged my brother so much that he ended up hitting me, but you know, it's that feeling, coming out of a cinema, and, and cinema can do that to people where, yeah. You leave and, you know, and if people leave the cinema with a bit of Cuban fire in their hearts, then that's, I think that's a pretty good thing.